Dodgers looking for the sweep, looking for a winning road trip. Twins, meanwhile, have dropped six of their last seven games after winning their first two this year. And for the first time in more than 40 years, they've lost their first four games at home. It'll be Chris Paddock making his second start of the year. He went four innings his first time out. A big 6-5 righty. He's got a lead extension. He's got a good fastball. We saw that up to 96 miles an hour in his first start. Mookie Betts leads it off. Leading the majors run scored. And he starts another game with a base hit. Single into center field for Mookie Betts. Pitch. 3-0 misses and that's ball four. The Dodgers have set up shop right away first and second and nobody out. Big hole left side for Freeman a left handed batter who uses the entire field. He pops this one up towards center field. Austin Martin drifting in after that ball. Martin's under it. He'll make the catch and Freeman retired. The tasker Hernandez has brought the power as advertised but he's also brought a much better approach than I think anybody expected. Carries in a nine game on base streak. Pokes one right side and through. A cue shot that'll get the Dodgers on the board. RBI double Teoscar Hernandez. Dodgers up one nothing in the first. Team leading 15th knocked in for Teoscar Hernandez among the leaders in all of baseball. In weekly back to panic. Throws him out. Big out there so Muncie rounds out to the mound Otani holds it third before Hernandez signed with the Red Sox the Twins made a run at him a few years ago popped it up Santana out Kirilov in look out guys and Julian takes charge Dodgers do get one but they strand two men in scoring position as Paddock heads back to the dugout with the Dodgers holding a slim one nothing lead. And Bobby looking for a redemption start after his start in Chicago where he only won an inning in two thirds. Eddie looking to bust out of it. Just one for his last 22. This is the hard throwing Miller. Julian sends one to left. Kike Hernandez will turn. It's gone. Lead off home run to left for Eddie Julian his second. And the Twins answer back. It's a 1-1 game. He's got some kind of opposite field power, doesn't he? He delivers to Correa, who shoots this one into right field, and that's a base hit. Carlos Correa cues a 97-mile-an-hour fastball into the right field corner, hit it hard. Grounds on to first, could be two. Freeman to Rojas, back to Freeman, a double play. 3-6-3, and Miller can exhale here. Takes it right down the middle here. Julian ties the game with a solo shot to left. It's 1-1 after one. Paddock worked out of a pretty big jam there in the first. Gave up just a single run. Struck him out at 96, and that's where Paddock maxed out. In his first start against Milwaukee, averaged 94 with his fastball. But the Sheriff climbed the ladder with some extra juice on it, and Altman went after it. Swing and a miss, a foul tip, a changeup hung on to that time by Vasquez. The back-to-back -back punch outs from Paddock this time went to the changeup. Check swing, did it go? He did. And it's one, two, and three as Paddock fans a trio of Dodgers in the second. And the Twins and Carlos Santana are batting for the first time today with a runner in scoring position. Will the drought finally end? See hold for their last 29. 1-1 one, one in the air, popped up near third. Muncy's under it. Infield fly rule is in effect, so make it over 30 now. And it's up to Vasquez, who is one of four twins to have a base hit with a runner in scoring position this year. And Vasquez chased upstairs, something we saw him do last year. So thinking about change-ups and breaking balls. Oh, by the way, here's elevated 99 up in the zone, just like that, two outs. Weak contact off the bat of Former Dodger Kyle Farmer and Miller works out of it. As he gets Santana, Vasquez, and Farmer in order. Second time through this lineup now, Eddie Julian. Homer in the first to right and by the glove of Betts. So Julian now two for two to right center field and a base hit. Julian's going to round second base and he will make third. So Correa's two for two. And once again, the Twins have two on to begin an inning. See the Twins get that run in first and third. Nobody. Carroll off the hitter. Double play first time up. And the one two struck him out at 99. Carroll off the strikeout victim number three. And he can make it 0 for 33 with runners in scoring position. Here's Buxton. To left and down a base hit. And now it's mishandled and left briefly by Hernandez, but holding at second base is Correa. So Buxton gives the Twins the lead, and the drought is finally over. Margot walked on nine pitches his first time up to center. Outman makes the catch. Two down. Runners go. 3-2. Ground ball. Towards the hole, it's Muncie. 
scooped up by Freeman. 2 1 Minnesota after three. Three of the first four reached against Chris Paddock, but since then the Dodgers are 0 for 8, just one base runner. Freddie Freeman walked last year. Once he is 0 for 1, grounded out back to Paddock. Lifts a fly ball to right center field. Carrying pretty well. Martin to the track. He turns in. Watches this one go. Got just enough and ties the game at two. It was plenty high, but it had enough on it. And Max Muncy's got his second home run this year. Third and final game. Twins and the Dodgers. Bets to left. Hit hard on a line. On the warning check. Jumping up is Margot. Mookie Betts and Margot. Good jump on the ball. And on a warning track, reached up and backhanded it. Pulled sharply to right field, and it top spins down for a base hit ahead of Kirilov. Otani on for the second time today. On this 2-2 from Paddock, Otani runs again, and a line drive smacked into center field by Hernandez. Second hit of the day for Teoscar. Go ahead, run 90 feet away here in the fifth. Chris Paddock is done for the day. 2-2 in the fifth. And now the young lefty in a big spot, Cody Funderburk, is on against a left-handed veteran hitter in Max Muncy. And the 2-2 struck him out swinging. There's the breaking ball. Cody Funderburk, they strand two. On the bottom of the fifth, top of the order, Julian Correa Kirloff, all tied up 2 2. Lefty lefty matchup here as Julian bats. Two for two for Julian. To left, again deep, again carrying track, wall, and it's gone! Julian's three for three, a multi homer game, and the Twins have a 3 2 lead. Said, what I need to set up Correa for, I can do it myself. This bullpen, third in the majors, even though they've dealt with injuries to a couple of their best pitchers down there. Slashed into center field and a screamer of a base hit for James Altman. Altman runs 2 1. A ball throw to second and he's out. Third man that Vasquez has thrown out this season. See if Correa is okay, stretching out his left arm. So Vasquez, a great throw. Correa a bit slow to his feet and says thumbs up. I'm okay. And a fist to his teammate. Another good throw from Vasquez and Altman is out number two. Yeah, another good tag, too. Watch this. This ball's running just a little bit into that runner. Freddie Freeman looking for his first hit. He has hit in 15 straight games against the Twins. He's 0 for 2 today with a walk. Freddie trying to find a little two out. Thunder. Shot down the line into the right field corner. Kirilov to grab it. Otani hits third and comes home. Relay from Correa. It is. Attack from Vasquez blocked him to the plate. The initial call from Marvin Hudson is that he's safe. This is going to be safe by a toe or out by an eyelash. Minnesota challenging the safe call at the plate. Tying run, bang, bang at home plate. After a few, the call on the field is overturned. The runner is out. Baseball beauty from the Twins right there. 9 6 2 to get Otani. Certainly the opposite of what the Dodgers needed. Jax comes in, strikes out the side. In the eight, it's the Twins three, Dodgers two. Got to the major leagues eight years ago, did Stephen Okert. He has zero career saves. This is normally Yohan Duran's spot, but he's on the injured list. The one-two pitch, up the middle. Julian steps, throws, got him! Ball game! And the Twins win three to two. Let's see if they decide to take a look at this. It's gonna hold up. It's off a good, strong throw on the jump. Challenge and out, call it first base. Gonna be, that's going to get overturned. After review, the call on the field is overturned. The runner is safe. But Mookie Betts will come up, and Stephen Oker is staying in. Swung on and popped up. This should be it. Correa's under it, near second base. Carlos has got it, and the Twins will shake hands at Target Field for the first time this year. And good to close out the homestand with a win. 